After falling to the Dryden GM Ice Dogs in Game 6 of the SIJHL Final and failing to win the Bill Salonen Cup, the Thunder Bay North Stars have their sights set on one thing, the Dudley Hewitt Cup and a chance to play for a national title. Despite the Game 6 loss still fresh in the Stars' minds, they know they have to put it behind them going into the Dudley. It's a big opportunity. It's almost like once in a lifetime, I guess you could say. Not many people... Uh get to play their junior careers and play in a Dudley or uh, a chance to go to the RBC. So yeah, we're excited. You know, we were disappointed we didn't win. We thought we had a better team. I mean, we ran a little bit of gas, you know, with some injuries and some, some key guys out of the lineup. Really our goal this week is to uh, is to play well the first couple games, you know, all week obviously, but the first couple games, get some wins under our belt and, uh, you know, prepare for, for the weekend. We want to get to the weekend and uh, then anything can happen. Thunder Bay was without Rookie of the Year Keegan Gary for the SIJHL Finals. Gary has practiced all week and has officially been cleared to play in the Stars Tournament opener on Tuesday. The 17-year-old led all rookies with 24 goals and 27 assists this season. He says watching the finals from the sidelines has given him that much more fire to produce this week. It's tough watching us lose, but I mean, now I'm back, so hopefully uh, we got some momentum coming to the Dudley now. And uh, yeah, we just got to put it all out there for the 20-year-olds. He's ready to go, uh, and it'll be huge. I mean, I'm not sure exactly how many goals he scored this year. It must be 30. It gives us more depth at the at, in the third and fourth line as well, you know, so... Uh, you know, we get better players that move down the ladder and, and it makes our whole team stronger. Thunder Bay opens up the Dudley Hewitt Cup against the NOJHL champion Cochrane Crunch on Tuesday. The two teams have never played each other, but practiced just a few kilometers apart this weekend. Kyle Herbster, a Crunch forward, had 88 points in only 55 games this season, leading the NOJHL in points. He says he's never been a part of a team as tight-knit as this one. This is the tightest knit group I've ever been with, and it goes a long way. Like, we all get along. We're all together every day, so it's it's a big factor for us. The last two times that the uh, SIJHLs hosted the Dudley Hewitt Cup, our leagues come out the champion the last two times, uh, both times being the Sioux Thunderbirds. We know nothing about it. We have no one that's ever been in the Dudley Hewitt Cup before. We have no one that's ever been in a junior A championship before from our staff to our players. So it's kind of exciting for everybody. It's exciting for our smaller community of 5,000 people. Crunch D-Man and Thunder Bay native Preston Bobick says opening up the tournament against his hometown squad will be interesting. In the end, they're there for one thing. It'll be uh, pretty weird playing them at first, but um, you know, still got we have one job to do, and that's just play hockey. So if we do win this, and I don't know what I'm going to be like, it'll be pretty crazy. Both the Crunch and North Stars join the Wellington Dukes out of the OJHL and host Dryden Ice Dogs in trying to become the 2018 Dudley Hewitt Cup champs. The winning team moves on to the RBC Cup in two weeks' time in Chilliwack, BC, to play for a national title. Shane Pasquino, TBT Sports.